Hello and welcome to Rocky Desert. My name is Menturius and welcome to another Let's Play episode of Satisfactory. We are playing on the new experimental patch that has gone to, to the live servers. So I've been starting to explore with the elevators because I really wanted to clean up my factory a lot and well I was wondering at first where I was going to place it as you might have already known these two miners first went into this section and that one not yet running this is the first elevator I got in it looks amazing I wonder if it's deadly but well I cannot get into it it is a great working mechanic and uh, maybe I'll turn this one later on because I'm not even sure yet it is an MK2 miner but well we're slowly trying to clean up the factory and as you might know you couldn't walk here when we started it was because it was a double bell going to the steel section now it comes in on this side and it goes to the steel section so it's it's kind of neat this one isn't on yet because i was thinking what should we do with the big steel section and i noticed a problem i've been this this is out already i think like 20 minutes i turned off the coal so it's still having a backlog this is one hell of a backlog and it isn't going fast so i was thinking let's upgrade it because well we got way too many iron bars there it's it's too well well it has way too much backlog and as you can see this is all not producing So the first thing we need to do is get the assemblers to work. If you watch the factory tour, uh, we started with the assemblers. So let me get that one. some iron more iron bar because I am going to need them. We are definitely going to need to uh, we need to get up there. Oh, come on! Yes, we can. Thank you and that is where i want to go these are my assemblers and i got three of these big boys now but we kind of need to get production running for the other ones as well and i want to do it the nice way so it's going to be the elevator way i am first going to activate these two and as you can see these two are both out we're going to build the alternative have a module frame with the cement and not the one with the screws because well i have a lot of cement and not enough screws at the moment maybe we're going to turn that on or chain that out a bit later but for now we are going to try to make a little bit the same uh, way we did this one only then with elevators and I, I already I love the elevator awards so let's get the splitter problem with these big boys is that you if you want to have it the right way you really need to get them aligned one well, yes thank you that's one that's yeah, perfectly right. That's one. This is the second one. I hope it's perfectly right. Yeah, I do think it is. I still haven't found because the lines disappear once do you go up and that's kind of pity. That one. They kind of need the lines. And my mouse hand isn't that stable. Alright. So now we're going to do the elevators. And well, I don't need the MK. This one is 
This one is kind of too high, but I want to be able to walk beneath. Yeah, this this is is perfect. This is made for this game so well. Oh man, I love this already. These elevators. Oh yeah, perfect. So some will go up a little bit, some will go down a little bit, but I hope you get the point. I want to be able to walk beneath this. As you can see, everything is full. So the biggest question: Why is it not running yet? It's the powers. Uh, I want to have every baby to have his own little power segment. Just because we got way too many space in this section. Alright. And we got like 48. I do need to take a look at my power consumption. Alright, it's still running. But we need to keep a close eye on this because, well, it. I still don't know why I made this. I must have had a genius idea with this, but I can't remember it. I guess it had something to do with the module frames and something to do with the. Uh, I needed these. Oh man, look at this. This is oh so sweet this is looking so sweet man it, it's it's almost if i'm looking at a beautiful girl oh man if you like me and, and you want to have it all straight man that could be real or some what well, let's change the subject uh, oh man i really need to do something with this as well because it looks kind of clever as well but these elevators do give a perfect opportunity to build some kind of main storage section i'm not quite sure i don't want to do like the standard one that all the youtubers do uh, i want to be uh, functional and oh man that does need to change as well it needs to be functional but also practical and we need to get more steel beams that's definitely something we need to work on but for now i need to get the last one working because i'm talking and doing nothing uh conveyor belt three uh, yes you want two two up and uh, i want two up one two I guess I need to place wonder how I'm going to get up there kind of by doing this way uh, yes hmm, hmm. all right that could be a problem I guess this one is going to start at the top just because I cannot do it lower because I placed a pole exactly at that point. A little bit to the left, yeah, that perfect. Oh man, these are some angles. That did look All right. All right. Now let's put the last elevators. That one, uh, I guess. You only need two on that level or that one is a little bit higher but well it's perfect yeah it, i already thought it going to be a problem lucky there's no gravity in this game i do hope they fix that because it would give an tremendous challenge to build a factory without the space complexity 
Oh man, this looks so nice. So now we have... Well, a lot of stuff. Oh man, this is this is looking gorgeous. Right, now we've fixed that problem. I do need to keep an eye on my power consumption. And... I guess now we can go back to the bottom part because I already got the steel, the steel enforced, and that enforced steel beams that I needed. And we were going to make this look a little bit better because, well, I kind of want to speed up the making this section go empty part. And then you need to know what it's producing. So this section is making the screws. And the screws are going on the bottom to this section. And the screws are being used. Uh, that one is filling up that one. This one isn't really doing much. It looks like it doesn't do anything and that's kind of slowing the other section down so this one is kind of a stockpile I guess it's not going anywhere it's definitely not going anywhere all right so that one goes in there why did I build this or is it moving? Yes, it is moving. It is going... Going up. Yeah, it's going up there. So let's see what it is producing. Because, well, you need to look at all your chains. Alright, so these things are making the rotors. And the rotors aren't being used at the moment. So before we can do anything with that we need to see what the thing is we need the rotors for let's see we can make beacons but I highly doubt I need that so this is kind of funny I only need the engines for rotors so why would I need so many rotors because well I already got it pretty stockpiled and I really don't need any more hmm all right so I guess we are not going to speed up that section of the factory or is it something else we are needing No, this is all quite backlogged. Alright. So I guess then we are going to try and build the next section. And that is going to be the part that's going to build the computers. And it's going to be in this area. I'm not quite sure how to do that. So first things first, as always we are going to build a nice a nice tower where is that thing organization that's the one i needed now what we need for the big assemblers we need to have marginal friends well we can get them easy 48 and I guess we're definitely going to expand the assembler part. And this is the section we are going to build. Hmm. I 
almost also said I was going to build it downstairs because the green circuits are there and I, yeah I'm going to call it the green circuits because Factorio it's green and you get the blue and well I really hope they are going to implement more products so what do we need for the computer We need plastic, we need cables, we need the circuits and the screws. The screws we are going to build on a new section of the factory, I guess, because, well, we could use the existing one, but in the end we will get in some trouble. But for now it will work. Just because the screws aren't being used that much, we can use this section and we can even expand it. So I guess that is something we are going to do. And yeah, I did say we were going to build it downstairs. So the top section is going to be... Oh man, we do need to change a lot of stuff, but that will come in the end. I'm not going to connect it yet because I got one hell of a backlog and I kind of want to see how long it's going to take before that's all empty. Now that we got oh, like this section done, I kind of want to know how far or how high I can build Let's see if it's possible. Yeah. This is quite amazing. Didn't expect to be able to build this low, but I, I think I am going to get into a little bit trouble with yeah, with this one. But I can use that one for the yeah, we are going to use this section for the green circuits to go up. So I guess this isn't that bad. We have to do a little bit of redesigning. But, well, the assemblers will fit here. Uh, and I won't be able to jump up on it. But, well, there's always a different way to do that. Or not. Alright. Let's first bring in the floor. I want to see how much space I got and how many assemblers I want to place on this area. Is it even possible? Uh, I definitely think it is. I kind of want to put it one up and therefore I'm going to test it. I need to build a computer. Uh, let's see that one and that one no that one I want a plus because I need those computers so let's get to a workbench somewhere in this factory and let's build some I have a feeling I'm going to have a copper problem but well we will see that in the end. What do we need for the computers? I need five computers. I need some circuits. And some plastic. Plastic I can do. Circuits I can get. Plastic, I'm going to steal from this one. And I'm going to steal some plastic from this one because, yeah, I just have enough plastic. And then we're going to walk all the way back to make those computers. Uh, 
Oh man, this factory is going to look so much better once I've done all the lift and elevator stuff. Lifting stuff up. Oh come on, I need five computers. What am I sure? I think the cables, but they are close. They're definitely close. They're in here. Uh, but we definitely need to produce more cables in the end. Let me sort this thing a little bit up. The way... Yeah, thank you. Anything we can do... Yeah, we can select this milestone. Yeah, because I got all the stuff with me. 25 of that, and we can make some rulers. Oh, I need more copper. copper. And we, we unlock something. That's always a good thing. Oh, my apologies. Press one escape button too much. And analyze and quick work, please, please choose your new specimen. What do we get? Incoming new technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 5. Alright, Hub Tier 5. So, what's that? Caterium Electronics. Alright, Smart Splitter, AI, and Supercomputer. Next generation. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with it, but we're definitely going to unlock that. High speed connector. I never much been a fan of the smart splitter if you are put it in the comment down below and we'll have a nice discussion all right i guess this is slowly going to be the end of this episode what well, i was making one more computer and i needed something for that yeah okay well thank you uh, so I'm going to do a lot of redesigning in between episodes and then in the next episode we are going to start building the section for the computers and this is going to be the big hole where we're all going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am going to place this one. Yeah, I definitely think I can lift that up one more. But you will see that... Oh, I'm out of concrete. Oh, come on. You will definitely see that in the next episode. I hope you guys are going to stick around. Press the subscribe button and leave a like. I really appreciate it. See you in the next uh, Let's Play. Uh, keep building.